everyone, here's a quick tutorial on how to modify your MSA mask to be worn to your next Halloween party, rave, or if you just want to be ready for the next zombie apocalypse. For this project, you'll need the MSA mask, and you want to be sure to find the ones with the filter that are black, not the gray. These will not work. And you can find this at your local home improvement store for about $15. Next you'll need a pocket plasma. These are pretty cool. They respond to touch, voice, and music. They're pretty nice because they also come in all these different colors. And they fit like a glove in this project. And I'll show you in a sec what I mean by that. Um, these are battery operated and they come with a belt clip to be worn. So, kind of nice. And those are 15 apiece. Um, so first, by modifying, you'll have to take apart the filters, and you will destroy the filter, so there's no going back after you do this. You want to gut the inside. There's all these little um, pebbles and filter uh, filter material, so you want to gut that. And then I just used a grocery bag to fill in the void. Um, the cut is about two and a half across by two down, and I just add that up using a Sharpie and cut out the dimensions so that it fits perfectly over. Now, if you'd like, you can also cut around using an X-Acto knife. I removed the little grating here. I thought it looked nicer having a little bit more of the light exposed. Just gives it a more um, professional look. And look how what I was talking about. Um, this glass here, I didn't sand this or anything. It literally fits in there perfectly. And it's so... Um, such a good fit it doesn't even fall out when I shake it like this so pretty neat how everything just sort of worked out and um, the voice recognition or the voice uh, respond so you can see how it's sort of responding to uh, my voice while I speak and if you tap it it lights up too and I'm just gonna turn it on all the way full power and then that just sort of pops back on Real nice and simple. And then on the other side as well. And these go on pretty firm. So whatever you're doing, you don't have to worry about these falling and cracking. And then I modified this by just putting some O-rings. I just loop them through again and through an O-ring so that it can hold these um, little straps a little more uh, cleanly. And then on the bottom here, I sort of saw that it looks like a radioactive symbol. So I put three LEDs in parallel and hooked them up using a CR2025 battery. So I got that on now. So it looks pretty nice. And what I mean by parallel, you take your LEDs and there's a long and a short wire and you want to put all the long ones together twist them together all the short ones together and then twist those together and then making sure that each twisted ends don't touch the longer ones are your positive and the negative are the shorter ones you want to combine them um, into your battery and then a switch if you'd like so this is a CR2025 battery right here and be sure to buy these online if you want a better deal looks something like this a little button cell and it fits in the holder very nicely so I'd recommend picking up the holder as well unless you just want to tape everything together if you're not really that picky so um, like I said you want to put the positive and you're gonna have to test it out um, but the schematic is pretty simple. Just look up wiring LEDs in parallel and it's, you should have no problem. So I'm going to turn out the lights just so you guys can get a better look. So you can see that biohazard, I'm sorry, the radioactive symbol turns out pretty nice. I also use a little bit of adhesive foam and that just sort of fills in the other areas, um, the voids. And I don't think it looks pretty nice. Got this, the pretty cool uh, electricity going on here. And um, 
the cool thing about these types of batteries, uh, they work really well with the 5mm LEDs that I have and you don't even need to have any resistors so if you'd like you can also place other LEDs real quickly um, you don't have to wire them up like I did you can if you're only going to use this mask for one party or whatever so basically you can just connect the LED to the lights so if you want to put like a light up here or maybe here or inside the mask to give it like a glow you can do that real simply and all you'd have to do is just tape the LED to the correct sides of the CR2025 and that's a 3 volt battery so it's pretty simple let me know what you guys think hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial found it useful thanks for watching